At the beginning of the movie we are shown a ship at sea. On that ship we see a sailor named Pietro, and with him a rat named Rescuro. Rescuro is arguably the antagonist of the movie. This rat was different from normal rats. Where normal rats disliked light and were afraid of people, this rat was not like that. He had a very good friendship with Pietro. This sailor and the rat were going to a state called Dor where the soup was very delicious and world famous. In the state where Pietro took the rat, on a special day delicious soup is made and everyone in the state enjoys it and this soup is prepared by the royal cook of the state. This day is called Royal Soup Day of the State. Anyway, near the cook we see a genie that is a vegetable genie actually, and this genie helps the cook to make soup. When the cook started to make the soup, the cook had a quarrel with the genie and at one stage of the quarrel, the cook threw a wine bottle at the genie but accidentally the wine bottle fell into the soup. But it made the soup more delicious. Then the royal cook served soup to everyone including the king and queen. When the queen goes to eat the soup, Rescuro curiously goes to see the queen eating the soup but accidentally falls into the queen's soup. And seeing the rat so closely, the queen got so scared that she had a heart attack and she died. At this the subjects panic throughout the kingdom and the king is so enraged that he orders the rat to be killed and Rescuro runs to save his life. And then when he reached the window, he saw his companion sailor, going away with the ship without him, while the sepoys remained behind him. Rescuro ran away and came to the mouth of a drain. When the sepoys are about to kill him, he jumps into the deep drain and falls far below the ground. There he saw an old rat. There were many rats like him living in this place and this old guy is the leader of these rats. He took Rescuro with him. Meanwhile, the king was deeply saddened by the queen's death and banned what was known as Royal Soup Day and banned all soup making equipment, vegetables and also soup making in the entire state. And what happens in the state is famine, no sunshine, no rain, no production of vegetables. And there we see the condition of the people being poor and also the condition of the princess is miserable, and with it the rats and the mice are red listed in the kingdom. The scene changes and we see a mouse born above the ground. And this mouse was different from all others, because it was born keeping its eyes open whereas other mouse's eyes remain closed and also its ears were very big like a rabbit, and it was named Despero. However, Despero gradually grew up, and due to his enlarged ears he could hear much better from the rest. And the most special thing about him is his bravery, and along with that he was very curious and he always wanted to face danger, that is, he liked to take challenges. And this is why everyone including his parents and teachers were very worried, because his behavior was not like that of an ordinary mouse and also he wanted to go to the rat world deep in the ground, even though all the other mice were afraid to go there. For your information let me know you that, mice and rats are not the same. Rats are bigger in size and usually live far from humans, where the mice keep them closer to humans, and there is always a battle between the two groups. Anyway, Rescuro, who was a rat, didn't like staying in the depths of the earth, but he was trapped here and the leader here was ruling over them, which Rescuro didn't like at all. The leader was very cruel. There was a hole in his house through which he could see the outside world. In fact, he wants to go out and does not want to live like this underground. Meanwhile we are shown our mouse hero Despero sitting in the classroom and the teacher then shows all the mice a picture of cheese. But Despero is not afraid even though all the mice are afraid of the picture of that cheese. People trap the mice with this cheese. That is, they kill the mice by putting poison inside the cheese. That's why cheese is very dangerous for rats. But the teacher is worried that Despero is not afraid of this cheese. And after meeting his parents, the teacher tells Despero his parents to send Despero with his brother so that he could learn the rules of mice. Despero his elder brother then secretly took Despero to the palace library. His brother tells him that our job is to cut and destroy paper books, but Despero starts reading books instead of cutting them. He likes to read stories and books, and this story was about a warrior who saves the princess. After reading this story, Despero started thinking of himself as a warrior, and even after he left, the memory of this story never left his head. He always thinks of himself as a warrior. In fact he is like a warrior because he is not afraid of anything. Anyway, after that we were shown the princess. The princess was very upset. When Despero saw the princess he went in front of her and started talking to the princess. The princess is also very happy to see Despero's gentle behavior and cuteness and Despero then tells the princess the story of a warrior. The princess likes this story very much but Despero can't tell the whole story to the princess as he has not read the whole story himself. But the princess wants to hear the whole story so he promises the princess that he will tell the whole story to the princess. Meanwhile, Despero's parents find out that Despero has been talking to people, which is completely forbidden for mice. Then we see that Despero is not listening to anyone. He is reading the story of that warrior again in the library. And that's when the mice council members come and they handcuff Despero and take him to the council. And he is accused of talking to humans and breaking the rules of the mouse world and for that he will be kicked out of the mouse world. As a punishment, he will be thrown into a dark well where rats usually live, and rats and mice are hostile. Rats usually eat mice if got the opportunity, but Despero is not afraid at all. 
He thinks of himself as a brave warrior. Then he walks in the dark and comes to a prison. There he sees many rats disturbing a jailer. When the jailer wakes up, all the rats ran away, but Despero stayed there. The jailer catches Despero but Despero thinks that, I was telling the story of warrior to the princess before, she respected me. That's why he tells the story that he told the princess to the jailer. But the jailer is an old man, he doesn't like it that much. So she throws away Despero and leaves. Then many rats came and took Despero to the leader who got Rescuro a few years ago. This old rat was very cruel. He always wanted Rescuro to be like him. Actually he wanted to make Rescuro the leader of this group of rats but Rescuro is actually not that cruel like him. Anyway, next we see Despero being released in a field. There are many spectators around the field and a ferocious cat is released in front of Despero. The cat was chained but slowly the chain of the cat was loosened and the cat started attacking Despero. But seeing Despero, Rescuro feels a lot of affection. He asks the leader not to let the cat Despero. He says I will eat Despero. The leader thinks, Rescuro is finally as cruel as he is, so he becomes very happy. Despero was then handed over to Rescuro but Rescuro took Despero to his house. And there they talk a lot and become very good friends. Later it is seen that the princess is always depressed and a new maid named Mig has arrived to work for the princess. And Mig wants to be a princess herself and thinks she is a princess in his heart. And that's why she steals the princess's crown and takes it to her room and pretends to be a princess. So one day when she was feeling happy in front of the mirror pretending to be a princess, an old maid came and saw her. As a punishment she was given the task of taking food to the prisoners in the jail and was exempted from the privilege of serving the prince. So when the maid went to the jail with food, the jailer misbehaved with her and threw away her food. And then Mig says I am not an ordinary maid, I am a princess maid. Speak to me with respect. So the jailer gets angrier when he hears the princess name, which means he has a personal conflict with the princess. Then we got to know a story behind that jailer, which is, actually that jailer had a daughter many years ago, about 20 minutes 22 years ago. He thought of his daughter as a princess but due to lack of money he could not keep her daughter to himself, given to a family to raise, and since then he has been depressed all his life. And Despero heard these words secretly. Rescuro tells Despero, all this happened because of me. Because of me the queen died many years ago, there are dire straits in the kingdom. Because of me the princess is always sad. Rescuro then decided to meet the princess and apologize to her. He then secretly goes to meet the princess but the princess recognizes him by first sight. She realizes that this is the rat that caused her mother to die and the princess starts screaming. Rescuro tries to convince her a lot but the princess doesn't listen to him. And when he started beating him, the sepoys also came. Rescuro fled from there without seeing any other way. Although he manages to escape for his life, he harbors a lot of hatred towards the princess and feels that the princess has insulted him a lot. Because of this, he wants to take revenge on the princess. She goes to Mig first because Mig likes to think of herself as a princess, so she starts thinking about using her. After a while we see him make Mig misunderstood and tell her, if we can capture the princess then you can take the princess's place. Mig was really stupid, he easily persuaded Mig. And she went and told the princess, a very cute mouse is down there and came down along with the princess to show her. At that moment Rescuro tricks both of them and locks the princess and the maid in a room. After that Despero came to see the princess there. The princess shows Despero the diamond locket around her neck and says him to show it to her father and to inform that she is in great danger. So Despero then puts his life on the line and goes to the king avoiding all the obstacles, because there were many traps to kill rats. He crosses them but suddenly we see the locket of the princess fall from Despero's hand. Yet he tries to go to the king and tell him that the princess is in danger but the king doesn't listen to him. In fact, even after so many years since the death of the queen, the king is still in grief. He doesn't notice Despero. So then Despero has only one way open, and that is to ask his family for help. But when he went to his family, his family was afraid of him. Everyone thinks it's Despero as ghost. Actually no one can come out alive from the blind pit where Despero was thrown. Because the rats might eat him or he might starve to death. Despero tries to convince everyone that he is alive but even then everyone runs away seeing him. Despero then rings the bell in the town to convince everyone and this bell is usually rung before starting all the special events in the town. After ringing the bell, the royal cook wakes up and remembers his duty after a long time and sees vegetables in his dream. And at the sound of this bell, his mind also changes and new enthusiasm comes inside him. And he decides to make soup again. And then he started making soup and the, the smell of soup spread around. Then the genie came back to help him make the soup. So this ringing of bells and making of soup leads to the danger of the kingdom over and the onset of rain. And then we see Despero go to the cook and the genie. He informs them that the princess is in danger and needs to be saved. But the cook doesn't listen to him but genie says to Despero I will help you. And so genie and Despero go to save the princess and when they go down the stairs they find the princess trapped in the middle of all the horrible rats. In fact, the princess was imprisoned by the leader of the rats. And on the other hand, we see that the leader is very happy with Rescuro. 
He says you have done a great job. We all will eat this princess now. Then Despero and Genie came there. But as they were climbing the stairs, they bumped and fell down, breaking the genie's body. And he says to Despero, I can't do anything else, you go and save the princess. On the other hand, we see the leader telling Rescuro to ring the bell, and when the bell rings, all the rats will start eating the princess. But Rescuro refused to ring the bell. He realizes that he has made a big mistake. The princess is innocent, he shouldn't have imprisoned her. As a result, the leader became angry with Rescuro, and the leader himself rings the bell and then all the rats come to eat the princess, but then Despero arrives there, and finding no way he completely released the terrible cat that was imprisoned there. Then the cat gets ferocious getting so many rats together, and starts attacking them all and the rats. They start running around to save their lives. Despero fights all the rats to free the princess but then the leader rat catches him. Meanwhile we see the sun shining in the city after many years and whenever the light beam falls on the prince's locket, which the princess gave to Despero to give to her father, the sun's light reflected on that locket and illuminated the rat's fort. Then Despero cleverly used a convex lens to flash a bright light over the leader's eyes. As a result, the leader fell down where the ferocious cat was, and then the cat attacked him. To escape from the cat he ran away and entered the cat's cage and the cat followed him and the princess closed the door of that cage. And you can understand what the cat did to the leader. Rescuro then apologizes to the princess. The princess forgives him. Now the princess realizes that her mother's death was an accident. Meanwhile, we see the princess's servant, Mig, is imprisoned. When the jailer goes there, he finds a mark on Mig's neck. He then realizes that this maid is no other than his daughter whom he gave to a family 19 years ago due to lack of money. He is overjoyed to have his daughter back and Mig apologizes to the princess, and the princess forgives him and decorates Mig like a princess with her own hands. We then see Mig leave to live with her father on the farm for the rest of her life. And meanwhile the king realizes her mistake and the famous soup day is played again. And we see Despero and the princess are good friends and we see Rescuro on his Petro's ship and embarking on a new sea mission with his master. This is how the movie ends.